on the beautiful island of Madeira. We're here for about seven days and we're going to show you all of our top things to do. There's going to be city exploration, beautiful little coastal fishing towns, hikes and mountains, loads of nature and of course there's going to be a good amount of food. We stayed at the Pestana Casino Park Hotel in the centre of Funchal. It's a beautiful hotel with amazing views across the harbour, an infinity pool, great food and drink. We really would recommend staying in Funchal, it's a similar to do. It's so easy to organise transport for the rest of the island, but I really would suggest looking for somewhere within walking distance of the centre. Every road leading out of Funchal is an incredibly steep hill, so be prepared for some walking. A really cool thing to do on Madeira is hiking. They call them levadas, these hiking trails. There's some right up in the mountains, there's some uh, down by the coast, and we're doing one today which is out on the Sao Lorenzo Peninsula, which is the driest part of the island. It practically looks like a desert, so we're going to go and explore all the trails, see the beautiful views, and yeah, have a little adventure. There are so many beautiful places to go hiking in Madeira. We also did this amazing short hike along a coast path. There are also famous hikes in the mountains. These are a bit more serious. You can either book a tour or go on your own, but for some of them you will need to arrange for somebody to drop you off and pick you up again at the end. You can find these hiking trails all over the island, like this banana trail which we accidentally discovered during one of our road trips. We were just driving through, we had to stop here because we saw so many banana plants. I mean, this island is covered, covered in banana trees. There's not much more of a tropical site for me than a banana plant and these huge, huge arms of bananas. That... And when you taste the bananas from Madeira, they taste nothing like what you get back in UK or European supermarkets. They are so flavoursome, so rich, just delicious. And this banana trail that we're standing on here, there's a huge, huge plantation behind me. And this is called the Levada, Levada de Banana, Mantis? Yes, Levada, right. something like that. It means the banana trail. So there's a hiking trail that goes up through the banana plantations and the forests. Beautiful. Another incredible experience on Madeira is dolphin and whale watching. We went with a local company called Magic Dolphin. They have a few different tours. We chose a two hour powerboat tour. It was one of my favorite parts of the trip. I love being out on the water. Our tour guide was so friendly and knowledgeable and they knew exactly where to find some beautiful wildlife. Some species are more related to the winter time, so some other are related to the summer time. We have a family over here of pilot whales. They are amazing. This is one of the resident here in Madeira, so they get to them pretty much the whole year around. That's a big individual over there, really, really big. Look, another one there, also very, very big. You see that cooperation? That's really nice. A quick 20 minute drive from Funchal is Cabo Girao, a huge sea cliff with a great viewpoint. It's also the highest cliff skywalk in Europe at 580 meters. You can look straight down the cliffs at the water below. It could be quite busy with tourists and visitors, but it is definitely worth a quick stop. An eccentric local musician greeted us by the car park. Madeira is full of mountains and cliffs, and some places you can only get to by cable car. Dropping 500 meters in a couple of minutes is an amazing experience. We're going in the cable car down to this cool little village down by the sea and it is seriously steep. It's almost a sheer drop. If you move, the whole thing starts shaking around. This is a, it's a tiny little car. It's so steep. We are almost dropping vertically. Incredible. This place is amazing down here. It's really relaxing just to walk along this pathway. It's really wild as well. There are a couple of houses and some shacks, but it doesn't look like anyone lives in them. You can walk along this footpath, go along the coast, watch the sea. The waves are huge. The cliffs are stunning. There's beautiful, beautiful scenery down there. It's, yeah, don't just get the cable car. Come down, just spend 10, 15 minutes walking along the coast. It's amazing. 
Something really famous in Madeira is the cable car that goes from Funchal right up to the mountains and we are just taking off. A bit expensive, it's 16 euros for a return trip but it's a tourist attraction and you know what, it is going to be really cool. You can see all the little winding streets of the old town, we're just going like meters above the old houses and the, uh, the beautiful historic centre. That's amazing. All the tiny little winding streets, all full of bars and restaurants. What a wonderful place. Wonderful place to live, I absolutely love this island. There are two ways to get down from the cable car. One is the cable car and the other one... <laughs> it looks so much fun. These really traditional toboggans, they used to get them uh, to go all the way down the hill. It's a super steep hill back down into Funchal and now they're for the tourists but <laughs> they look really funny. The food in Madeira is really special. The volcanic soil on the land and the rich Atlantic sea mean that the island's food is spectacular. Incredible meat, fish, fruit and vegetables can be found all over the island. We found this roadside wood-fired chicken shack as we were driving into Funchal late one afternoon. You can see the smoke from 100 metres away and we just had to stop. The smell was amazing. I understand now why it's so popular place. Really good enough. We've come to a little restaurant near the hotel called Casal de Penha. Starters have arrived. I have got uh, grilled squid with olive oil and garlic and some parsley. It looks incredible. It's, it's really, really nice big chunks of squid and tentacles and a body. Look at that. That is so special. Wow. For main course, I have got bacalao. It's a really, really traditional uh, dried, salted cod dish. So the way this is made is it's, it's a really old way of preserving cod. They used to catch these huge, huge cods and they would dry the fillets and cover them, absolutely cover them in salt. Then uh, you can store them for a really long time. They go sort of stiff as a board. When you want to use them, you need to soak them in water. You then need to then soak them in milk just to draw the last of that salt out. My first ever taste of bacala. Mmm. Really, really meaty flavour. You can taste the salt, but it's not overly salty. Very different to a fresh piece of cod. I absolutely love that. Wow. I'm, I'm eyeing up those mussels. I can see them next to me. I've got to try one. These mussels look absolutely fantastic. So the, the waiter, when he brought them out, squeezed a load of lemon juice over them. And I've got to say, they are huge. Look at the size of this one. I mean, that's almost sort of the length of my hand. I can tell you, I've never seen a mussel that big. Absolutely gorgeous. And the size of the meat inside. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's unbelievable. Wow. We've got the lapis, which is limpets. Cracked off the local rocks, squeeze them with lemon juice. They were sizzling hot when they came out. I mean, some of them are kind of still sizzling and they look brilliant. Oh god, they smell good. Oh wow. Mm. That garlicky seawater. Mm. They're really, really nice. Madeira is famous for its drinks. There are three that you absolutely must try. Poncha, the local rum punch, Madeiran sugarcane rum, and the world famous Madeira wine. This is Ray de Poncha in Funchal, a serious spot that's always super busy for local freshly made poncha. This is the pescador, which apparently is not sweet at all. And this one is the strawberry. Wow, <laughs> that's amazing. I think passion fruit and strawberry in many places we tried are my favorite. Fisherman's first, here we go. Oh my God, yeah, that's packed full of rum, Jesus. <laughs> that tastes like it's like 50% rum. Sour as well. Yeah, that's my sort of flavor. Strawberry. Oh wow, that's so fresh. Wow, that's like they've just blended a load of strawberries. I mean, to be honest, they probably have. Like, you can actually see the strawberry seeds and like the, the chunks of the fiber and the flesh. Yeah, that's, that's blended strawberries mixed with some white rum. Dude, what can you say about that? It's just unbelievably good. If you can get a table, then I would seriously recommend coming and getting it because it's, uh, it's, it's a really, really good atmosphere here. We are at the Madeira Rum House. Now, rum is a really, really important part of Madeira's history, and no trip to Madeira would be complete without tasting their rum. First one is an unaged rum, so you can see it is completely clear, completely clear white rum. That is really, really fruity. 
Almost smells like the puncher, of course, because the puncher's made with this, this sort of rum. Let's give it a try. Oh, that is such a good quality rum. Wow. Really fruity, really drinkable. That's quite a dangerous one. Now, this is a special one. This is the most expensive, I imagine, because it's 15 years old, aged for a really long time. Oh. Oh, you can tell that's 15 years old. That is so smooth. That's delicious. I'm going to go for a medium dry first. Beautiful colour. Oh, oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, nice acidity. Not too sweet, but just a touch of sweetness. Taste of kind of burnt caramel flavour. Wow, absolutely delicious. Another great thing to do is try some of the outdoor sports. There are loads of options. Water sports seems to be a bit of a speciality on the island. We've seen so many spots with people surfing and even wing foiling. We didn't try any this time, but if we come back, it's definitely on our list. You can also do canoeing and paragliding. We spotted a cliff with loads of people paragliding from. We happen to be in the right place with this paraglider landing right on the beach in front of us. Something that's really famous and really popular to do on Madeira is these natural swimming pools at Porto Moniche. So we're right at the northwest tip of the island, but the sea is just crazy today. We were going to swim, but these waves, the, the pools are closed, you're not allowed to swim. They would just sweep you straight out to sea. But on a warmer, sunnier day with a quieter sea, that would be really awesome to do. On the south side of the island, there's an old mountain road with a special secret. The locals call it Cascata dos Años, the Angel's Waterfall. This cold mountain stream pours down onto the road and spills into the sea below. If you want to find it, drive through the tunnel carved out of the mountain rock next to the beach in Ponta do Sol. Drive along the twisty, uneven road and as you turn a corner, you will see a spectacular waterfall. The water's really cold and the air all around it is refreshingly cool. On a hot day, it would make a fantastic shower. Time for a car wash. <laughs> We've had a fantastic time in Madeira. It's the perfect option if you want some winter sun. I mean, it's about a four hour flight from the UK and it's been over 20 degrees every day. It's a really special island. There's so much stuff here to see, especially if you like food and drink. There's some really unique local stuff. If you don't want a long haul flight, you don't want to go all the way over to the Caribbean, it is, it is a perfect, perfect option. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe. We've got a lot more videos that we've filmed whilst we've been here in Madeira and loads of other travel and food videos coming as well. Please also give us a thumbs up and thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.